Um, and then to answer your other question, when I was doing a lot of these events, I was still full-time in my real estate project. And it occurred to me very quickly that um, not everybody understands why I, I love to do these. So even my developers that I worked with in real estate, incredible humans, but, you know, they are very, you know, they're used to realtors just doing their one thing. They're just realtors. Yeah. So I think that it was a bit of a foreign concept for them to be like, well, what do you mean in your spare time you're doing these speaking yeah. events? It was yeah. not something that we really saw eye to eye on. Yeah. Um, and it just got to the point where, you know, I was working seven days a week, morning till night on that project. And as much as it brought me so much joy and for five years, I mean, when I left, we maybe only had like six lots left. I was the one that sold all of them with the developers. Right. Um, I realized when my time was done, I was like, you know yeah. what? I'm so grateful yeah. for this, mm -hmm. but this is not bringing me joy and fulfillment anymore. Mm -hmm. And speaking on stage and, and being able to be a light to other people, that was where my, my, my purpose was. So there was a series of events that kind of happened and right around the same time, I think this is really what I want to hone in on for your audience, Aswan, mm -hmm. is the fact that there's so many things in our life that we do that are out of comfort, are out of, you know, we we know that we we know the result, the yeah, outcome. You know the result, right? um, 